I had my vanity makeup setting all done, but the inside is just a big old drawer. I need a lot of help because this doubles as a nightstand as well as a vanity. So all my makeup is in here, snacks are in here, and uh, I actually employed the help of a professional organizer. And so Darlene and I are gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to keep things organized and how to keep things neat. But I can guarantee you that this before and after is gonna be very satisfying. It's just gonna be a chill day today, so I hope you enjoy. Hello! Hey. Hi! Thank you so much for meeting with me. If you want, we can do a little tour of your um, drawer. Okay. And <laughs> kinda like, give me a little breakdown of what's going on in there. All of my makeup is in this box. So I used to be able to put all my makeup brushes standing up, but now they're just kind of like, and then we move over this way. Crossword puzzle, snacks, my hair straightener, sunglasses, jewelry that I haven't sorted, hair accessory, clip-on bangs. So what I would suggest is first taking everything out of your drawer. That's how it just easily just built up into like one whole cluster. Now what? Uh, so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna actually go through everything. There are things that you do wanna keep, but it's just like you're not ready to let go of. So what I like to call it is like a, you limit yourself to a box. Yeah. And I call it the mental box. Yeah. Whenever you have trouble letting go of something, put it in that box. And then when you find yourself not reaching for it, um, within like six months, then you know you need to let it go. Okay. So that's usually how I like to think of it. I try my best not to encourage throwing it out because it's like I like to um, try to put less waste in the world. I'm like a follows expiry dates as guidelines. Yeah, I'm the same way. It's hefty. You got real stuff. Yeah. Now I gotta go off and do this on my own. You'll be fine. Okay, thank you. This was super helpful. And I can't wait. I'm gonna send you pictures of everything that I did after. Thank you so much, Charlie. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you for having me. I'm gonna tackle this on my own. See how it goes. so much more clear-headed everything is in exactly the containers that I need and now I have space to put my day creams on here so that I can sit and moisturize whereas before I did it in the bathroom and now I keep my cleansing wipes in the drawer because now I can just take off all my makeup for the night and go to bed. The all-in-one cleansing wipes are a classic. It removes all types of makeup, including eye, lip, and face makeup. The next thing I'm gonna do is organize my cables. That's often something that we forget to organize. And I'm actually gonna stick it underneath my nightstand so that it doesn't hang out on the floor and then I'm gonna clip my cables in. So it's gonna make the nightstand area super neat and tidy. Costco actually sells a big pack of these Velcro command strips, which I love. That way, if I need to take this outlet off, I could just peel it off. I love organizing. This is my favorite part after moving, but I think it just got away from me. Oh, so nice. If anybody's wondering why is there a basket of clothes, it's because this is where my kid sleeps at night. This isn't going anywhere, sorry. Look at how neat just this floor space is now. Wow. 
and you can't even tell until you look down here. One thing that I've been dying to do, again, have taken months to do it. So everything that I'm using to organize today, I will link in the description for you to find. I got these glass bottles particularly because they're low profile, but it just cleans up the bathroom space so much better. I've been meaning to squeeze my shampoo in there. So that's what we're gonna do. Maybe I should have labeled them first. Oops. After shooting a video, this is just one of my favorite rituals. I also like to follow up with their alcohol-free toner just to balance out the pH levels of my skin and then moisturize and then I'm done for the day. It just feels the best when everything is clean, including my face. I also have a full skincare routine for the winter time that you can check out. I'll link that in the description so you know a step-by-step -step of what I do for my skin. It doesn't look great right now, but it's better than it was before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can follow me on Instagram at LetitiaQ. Check out Darlene at SystemTO. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be in tune for any home videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.